I was diagnosed with asthma when I was 35, but I was given inhalers probably since at least six years before that. I think my asthma started off too with allergies. It was triggered a lot by that because I was working in the bank at the time when I first had it. Um, they were allowed to smoke. That was a huge issue. From when my kids were younger, I think there was a lot of fear because, you know, just seeing an ambulance, knowing that it was about breathing, you know, they even asked me, are you going to die? Like, just things like that. And just not being able to always do things with them. Now it's not quite as bad because it, you're, you know, they're older, but it's. I still think it impacts them. And with my husband, I would say, um, and my kids, you know, they just want me to go to the hospital, get better. I think they're realizing now, you know, that doesn't happen, but they still would like that, you know, just give her something you know, to make her feel better, right? My breathing today is, I don't know, it's not great. Like I can, you know, talk as you can see, but I wouldn't say it's under control. I'm on at least four inhalers a day, plus the Vandalin on top of that, plus Zulin injections. Just by the amount of stuff I can do compared to what I used to do, like even last year, it's very limited and I have to go slower the thing's more of a struggle. I'm very determined, but I'm also like being told by, you know, the doctors, the RT, like, you gotta slow down, you gotta pace yourself. You gotta conserve energy. Just try to get as much uh, support and help and look after yourself.